What's up guys? The question this week is how much more taxing it is to run a 3440 by 1440 display over your standard 2560 by 1080. Now, the way that I went about and tested this was to run benchmarks on four modern titles, that being XCOM 2, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Metro Last Light Redux, and Rainbow Six Siege. Now, I did this both with a GTX 970 and a 980 Ti. So without any further ado, let's go to benchmark mat. So moving into the benchmarks now, we're going to talk about XCOM 2. Now XCOM 2 we are going to have to take with a little bit of a grain of salt because it didn't have the most stable launch and it still isn't really uh, that stable or optimized, but it is getting better. Uh, so we can see that with the 970 we are getting 47 frames on average, which really isn't ideal for a gaming setup. The game was quite stuttery and I'm not really sure whether or not that was due to the game itself or whether or not the uh, 970 was having uh, issues. The 980 Ti on the other hand provided a much more smooth experience uh, coming in at 65 frames per second on average. Uh, that's really going to be how most of these benchmarks are going to pan out. The 980 Ti is going to offer a much smoother experience than the 970. On 1080p on the other hand, uh, the 970 blew XCOM out of the water coming in at 89 frames per second with the 980 Ti getting a 108 frames per second. Rainbow Six Siege on the other hand, which is a competitive game, so it does benefit more from a higher uh, FPS, especially if you're playing on something like the X34, which is 100 hertz capable. Um, the 970 and 980Ti were very much playable on 1440p, the 970 getting 62 frames per second and the 980Ti getting 92 frames per second. So for both cards, it was very much playable. So I only play uh, on my Dell U3415W, which is non-G-Sync at the moment, and it is more than playable. Uh, on the 1440p resolution. On 1080p on the other hand, um, both getting in 100 frames per second on average plus, uh, so good to go from there. Coming into the third benchmark, that is Metro Last Light. Uh, this is a game that I was really surprised uh, how well the 970 and 980 Ti performed for that matter. Uh, with 1440p, the 970 got 70 frames per second on average, with the 980 Ti getting 99 frames per second, which is a really, really great result. So Metro Last Light is more than playable on 1440 with a 970 and 980 Ti. On 1080p on the other hand, uh, both were getting 100 frames per second with the 980 Ti getting 173 frames per second. So that was really great to see. Now moving on to our last benchmark, that is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now Rise of the Tomb Raider was the most stressful benchmark that I actually ran uh, for these two cards, with the 970 really, really struggling with those extra pixels and probably VRAM as well. Um, I didn't test VRAM on this stage, but I will be testing it in the future to see if that does uh, impact performance. But with the 970, you're getting 43 frames per second on 1440p. Now with G-Sync enabled on the X34, uh, you know, it was still playable, it was still kind of smooth, but it did stutter on occasion and that really was quite noticeable. The 980 Ti on the other hand, coming in at 66 frames per second on 1440p, provided again a much smoother uh, experience. With 1080p, though the Rise of the Tomb Raider was definitely playable, coming in at 65 frames per second, uh, and the 980 Ti coming in at 89 frames per second as well. So as you can see from the benchmarks provided, uh, there is definitely a performance hit running a 1440p panel over a 1080p panel. So with a 3440 by 1440 resolution, you have to run about 5 million pixels, whereas with a 1080p panel, you're running around 2.8 million pixels. So uh, that doesn't really translate to the benchmarks, which you'll see over here. You know, you're not exactly taking off half your FPS um, as you go from a 1080p to a 1440p panel, but it is a very significant drop in performance. Uh, you know, in some games, you're getting about a third of a performance drop. So say for example with the 970s uh, going from 65 to 43 in Rise of the Tomb Raider and in XCOM 2 you're going from 89 to 47. You really are getting around about half to a third performance less uh, depending on the game going from a 1080p to a 1440p panel. Now if you're running a 980 Ti it's really not going to be that much noticeable in terms of your gameplay experience. Um, it's still very much the same, although if you are gaming on a Acer Perda X34 where you are capable of going up to 100Hz, then yes, it is indeed noticeable. But if you're gaming on a flat 60Hz panel, 
um, then it's not really too much of a difference. Where there is a difference in your terms of your gameplay experience is when you run a 970 at 1440p. So um, playing games like XCOM 2 and Rise of the Tomb Raider, you know, you're going from that 65, uh, 65, 89 FPS mark, which is above the 60, uh, 60 hertz limit, and that's where the gameplay is smooth, and you're really dropping down to the mid 40s, which does very much impact on your gaming experience. So these would kind of be my recommendations if you're looking at 1440p or you're looking at a 1080p panel. If you're going 1440p, then I would definitely recommend going for a 980 Ti. Uh, so you can get above that 60 hertz threshold, uh, especially if you're going for the Acer Predator X34 where you're wanting to get, uh, you know, as close to 100 frames as possible, picking up a 980 Ti is definitely a recommended option from me. Uh, in terms of using a 970 for 3440 by 1440, it is still very much doable and you'll still have a good time uh, on that resolution, but it definitely won't be as smooth. Uh, you know, for some games like XCOM 2 and Rise of the Tomb Raider, especially if you don't have a G-Sync panel like the X34, you're really going to have um, a, a choppier experience than if you're going with the 980 Ti. If you want to game on a 1080p panel, however, then you definitely can run on a 970 and you'll have a good experience on it as well. Um, if you were looking at something like a uh, Z35, for example, from Acer, which is a 200Hz panel, then yes, you still would benefit from using a 980 Ti, but you still get a smooth experience running a GTX 970. I will just mention though, if you are going for the 2560 by 1080 route, definitely do pay attention to the pixels per inch ratio that you're getting on your panel. If you're going for a 25 inch ultra wide with the 1080p resolution, uh, you're getting around 130, 130 to 125 uh, pixels per inch on that panel and that is definitely a good uh, PPI ratio but if you're going for anything larger like a 29 inch or a 35 inch in the case of the Z35 then you're getting a much less pixels per inch ratio which in introduces a lot of you know kind of stretching and distortion on the image which really makes it difficult to work with when you're doing anything other than gaming so if you're doing productivity work I would definitely not recommend uh, going for a 1080p panel definitely a 1440p panel 100% the way to go if you're doing anything productivity related. So that's it from me guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and as always, I will see you in the next one.